It is AVL the God, and we are back. We are back with, or maybe should I say, Dr. Disrespect is back? If you don't know Dr. Disrespect, he's a streamer. He streams games. He's very disrespectful, as you can, as in his name. Uh, he got banned from Twitch, and the allegations was because he was sexting a minor. I don't know if it's true. We'll see. We're going to check it out. And see how he came back. And we got a good video from my man, Jamari, telling us how and why he is back. Well, I assume. Let's see. So it has been a couple of months now since we last talked about the Dr. Disrespect situation. Last time we caught up with him, it was not looking good for this cosplaying 42-year-old man, as he had been outed as an EDP, or at least so we thought. This former Twitch employee had come forward saying, he got banned because he got caught a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers products. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that could be read in plain text. Case closed, gang. Followed up with, no one made the wrong decision, f him and his boys. This tweet would come years after Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch, and even years removed from his eventual settlement with Twitch. Him and his boys is kind of crazy. Like, you and your boys are talking to kids? That is wild. You shouldn't be around kids. You shouldn't be allowed near a school which paid him out his entire contract. Of course, this would send the internet into a frenzy, as many looking on long questioned why he had been banned from Twitch so abruptly. At the time of his ban, he was averaging over 32,000 concurrent viewers per stream, and with him being one of the biggest on the platform, a lot of people had questions. At the time, this was all he had to say. I make probably a fourth, a quarter of what I was making on Twitch. I've known for months now the reason why. And I'll just say this right now, champs. There's a reason why we're suing the f out of them, okay? You think a big time company like Nike oh, is gonna wanna work with that big question mark, huh? Or Disney? It fing sucks. Word, it is messed up. Let's say if he didn't do it, there's a lot of people, ex Twitch people, talking about how he was sexing minors. There wasn't really no real, at least I don't believe we're seeing any real facts of why he got banned or removed. And it sucks because you lose a lot of sponsorships, so he's kind of right about that. Cashier. But then once the allegations dropped all these years later, he posted this now deleted tweet where he said that he was always keeping it real and that he wanted to apologize for his wrongdoing. Keep in mind, this was after he was allegedly booted from his gaming studio with the CEO publicly condemning his behavior, also losing several partnerships after this news broke, saying that he was never allowed to talk about the reason that he was banned from Twitch before, likely due to legal reasons, but now since Cody had tweeted about the situation, it was fair game. Admitting that there were indeed inappropriate messages between him and a minor back in 2017, when he was 35 to 36 years old. Do you Damn, 35 years old, texting a minor? It doesn't really matter how old you are in general. You could be 21, 22, talking to a 17 year old. It's, it's still kind of crazy. Even fucking 18, 19, you better get the the parents' approval. You know, that's not right because the parents would be like, nah, statutory, statutory date, I should say. Let me not say that out loud. You know, I said date, but just saying. Saying that these were casual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. Claiming that no crimes had been committed in the process, while also admitting that he never should have entertained these conversations in the first place, and that the mistake was his as the adult in the situation. Also taking a moment to tell his haters that he wouldn't be going anywhere, and that he is not the same guy who was in his 30s sending these inappropriate messages via Twitch, and that he would be on vacation until further notice. Now it would be radio silence until around a month later when it, it it sucks too because like even me there's a lot of kids who hit me up and i i can't even show love in a way because during these times you get called a pedo a pedophile for anything for anything like for real like that word gets thrown around like it's whatever we, sh we should not be doing that because you gotta understand a lot of kids watch youtube and we're just trying to give these kids what they want, which is a response, just a response sometimes. You know what I'm saying? We're not here to show love, write heart faces and kissy faces at them. No, that's that's too far. When he would post this tweet insinuating that he was playing chess while his enemies were playing checkers. 
but this ended up backfiring on the self-proclaimed doctor as he would get trolled relentlessly in the replies. The heat was so bad in fact that he had to take the time to reply to some of his detractors. Little brainwashed woke boy putting out Dragon Ball Z GFX with Kendrick Lamar lines. Got me big time. One month later, Vacation is just too good right now. We'll be back soon though, champs. We have lots to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are people hell? still streaming video games? What a snooze fest. What are you doing, Doc? Relaxing in the Lambo with the windows down. Back from La Vacation. 15 year old in the passenger seat. And now on September 5th, a couple of months removed from the allegations, he would post a hype video of his return, where the intro shot is him riding in on a speedboat, combing his mustache, and announcing the <laughs> comeback funny enough he was trolled once again here as people now nah, he should have came back and shaved that mustache though because that's what makes him look like that he does look like one of them he's not like us <laughs> just saying. people questioned which island he was riding in from regardless both he and everyone knew at this point that he would return and in his comeback he would announce that he would be planning to regain monetization from youtube which was stripped from him in light of the recent allegations and obviously he would also acknowledge the entire twitch ban situation for almost four years the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the twitch suspension i guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement Maybe it's time to tell my side of the story. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. But even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. Now, Doc would take time to specifically call out Cody Connors, aka the Twitch employee that opened Pandora's box with his tweet. Cody Connors, ex-Twitch employee, wasn't even involved, leaks. Twitch's reported reason. Cody, why, why, you, why do this? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? You didn't have any first hand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was seeing a minor through whispers messages. <laughs> do you even know what the legal definition of is? I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't anyone now this is the weirdest part of his comeback stream where he basically pulls a drake and tries to act like he fed the media false information purposely when he said himself that he had engaged in inappropriate conversations with a minor you also said the word minor cody i even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement wait doesn't dr disrespect got a hot ass wife though by the way you know what I mean? Even though it could be a cover-up, he could still be doing that on the side. You know what I mean? Look at the way he looks. Just look at him. That mustache, bro. He's either a cop or touching kids or something. Edited, etc. Just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets... Did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? You didn't. Neither did any of these journalists and neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. I even used the word inappropriate. Wait, didn't he admit it though? I'm pretty sure I remember a tweet him saying like he admitted to the fact of it, posting it on Twitter that he had a wrongful conversation with a minor. Just saying, I think I remember that, that part. Purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. This dude really thinks he's out here playing 4D chess by creating PDF file allegations against himself? Like he really thinks he got one over on everyone and these various journalists that he's so mad at for reporting information that he said. This Epstein angle was the shit that I expected. Now to be fair, people who said that he was specifically- Did he just use Drake's voice? That's crazy. ...ing someone underage and that he wanted to meet up with them if that was not the case, should be held liable for lying about that. But most people I saw were just reporting what he himself said in that now deleted response tweet where he specifically said the word minor. And now he wants to act like, oh, this was some genius move to self-implode his entire brand. All for an illogical gotcha moment. 
How would each of you look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words? Well, you know, that's why I, I keep all my messages. I keep all my videos. I keep everything on my files because if you take something out of context, I'll post a whole video. Because you're not lying on my name. People people take little clips and take clickbait and what is it? Uh, clip farming? They clip farm on your own clips to make you sound stupid these days. You know, I'm pretty sure the average almost 40 year old person is not out here messaging kids. So why would we need to go through their chat logs? The same employees that decided to ban me internally admitted that the whisper messages were not Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. Now, honestly, it's not looking good at all for Twitch because the way they botched this entire process was horrendous. Doc makes it sound like this was all essentially a hit job and that he had a partner manager for years that did not like him at all. And then when he got renewed for his partnership with Twitch back in 2019, he then requested a new partner manager and that only a few months later, the old partner manager was the one pushing for this person on the other side of these messages to file an official report with Twitch. Wow. And even after that person allegedly did so and Twitch decided no wrongdoing had been done, Doc claims that same ex-partner manager personally escalated the situation to the Twitch law enforcement and response team to attempt to make this a criminal matter. The Twitch user tells this ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex-Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch even though the user told him clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. That's why it sucked when you're Dr. Disrespect or any anywhere at the level of Dr. Disrespect and you have haters like that. That's why it kind of sucks. It really kind of sucks to have partners and stuff like that because if things go left, they go against you and use things against you and try to make you go down because they're going down, obviously. They're not a part of the team. And they're looking for another team or a way to take you out or take away your money. That's why if I ever make it big, I am staying independent. I don't want no manager. I'll do everything my damn self. I'll learn. On June 24th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. So Doc claims here that this ex-partner manager had a friend over at the Twitch law enforcement team and that basically they cherry-picked messages from these chat logs. Kick need a law enforcement team. Just want to say that. Kick definitely need a law enforcement team. For sure. Because the way it's moving, the way people be on there doing whatever they want, they need... I'm on Kick, but I know they need a law enforcement team for sure. Determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. So Doc claims here that this ex-partner manager had a friend over at the Twitch law enforcement team and that basically they cherry-picked messages from these chat logs and sent them to a director at Twitch and that basically within one hour he had already been banned. The LER analyst cherry-picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate, even when they aren't. That's, that's true. Within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were legal in any way. Twitch may That's why it goes both ways. Like when I make clips, like I do it in my favor. You know what I'm saying? To make it look better than the actual uh, response went or just make it look better. It could go the other way. Look, you can make anything look bad also. That's why it sucks when you got haters like that. I hope people don't take anything I say out of context. Makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever interviewing me, the user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. Fucking unbelievable! 
Now I can see Dang. why Twitch He's had tight. to pay out the entirety of his contract. Because the steps they took to essentially fire this man were both unprofessional and rushed to say the least. He even speculates here that they targeted him. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. So then why did Twitch use these messages against me? I, I Why did Twi up. Twitch treat the doc so differently from their other streamers outside of the obvious? I mean, just take a look at me. Right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Dr. Disrespect looks like a dick, so I could see why anybody at Twitch or the person ahead of Twitch would be like, man, F this guy. We're gonna get him off of here. We're not trying to pay him no more. I don't like him. I can see that happening. Unfiltered. The realest mother in this industry. Six foot eight. Gorgeous. Athletic. Successful college degree. College athlete. Bourbon business. Gaming studio. Beautiful family. I'm sorry, but hearing a 42-year-old man dressed up like this call himself the realest in the industry is hilarious. <laughs> At the end of the day, I think that two things can be true. I think that this guy is relying on a lot of legal gray areas and excuse for this screw-up. But with that being said, Twitch completely f***ed up this entire process. They fumbled the investigation, and they paid the price for doing so. And it's my belief that more people will now be sued. This dude Cody totally f***ed both Twitch and himself by putting this tweet out after they had already settled all of this years ago. But I also feel like for this fool to just sit and play the absolute victim is crazy. At the end of the day, at least to me, the direct line of messaging just never should have happened in the first place. But I don't accept to sit and quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations, no. Yeah, at this point, I just feel like we need to see the message logs and we need to know the age of the person at the time that he was messaging Facts. them. That would be like the ultimate slam dunk in him completely pulling out this reverse Uno if he could really prove that the messages were basically a joke and that they were with someone who was of age. But when asked on stream if he would do that, this was his response. People want to show the message, release the messages, show the messages. Nah, he he looks suspect right there. He looks suspect. He was he was overthinking. He didn't know what to say right there. Oh man, it, it kind of looked like he's caught in the situation. I don't want to go against him at all because it's all allegations, all allegations, and I I don't respect it if these are false. Just saying, I don't respect it. I don't believe people should take money away from people and make up lies just to take them down just because of their character. Just saying. What are we in second grade? Now I'm sure he will continue. He to dressed like you in second grade. <laughs> supporting him, I even had a lot of them come into my old video I made about him a couple of months back, saying like, "Oh, this day and age." Well, when honestly, I don't think he really did a whole lot of help for himself here. I mean, he didn't post any actual evidence. He didn't post a single screenshot. And his big gotcha moment was himself creating this apparent false narrative that he's a pdfile like oh you got us dude i guess i just really don't understand why he didn't come out and say all of this off the rip and not make the other statement if this was the case all along and he's as innocent as he claims like he's the one who helped push the pdfile narrative i just can't really wrap my head around what he was thinking but either way i do want to know what you guys think down below in the comments are y'all still rocking with the doctor? Do you think it's time for know, him to hang up those sunglasses iffy. and that stupid wig? Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. Tomorrow's but as funny, you guys man. know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and some other creepy streamers out here need to be covered, so I'm out. See, the thing about this, it, 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 it's hard it's hard to judge, because even after all the facts that Jamari gives, it's like iffy. It's like 50-50. It's either he was really doing it, or he wasn't. Or they messed up the investigation where they had to put him back on Twitch, even though they were probably right. But like I said, it's still allegations. And at the same time, if he did it, yes, he should go down. He should not make no more money no more. He should possibly, I don't know if you go to jail for that, for texting a minor, but you should be very looked at or put on a list or something to be careful with this man. But if he didn't do it, that is really messed up. I don't respect that. And he should get all his money back and then some, even though he probably did. They paid out his contract, right? But it's just like shady coming from Twitch and how they handle it. Even though they had an ex-Twitch fucking guy come after him and spread all these lies. I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Like, comment, it's AVL the God. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you guys still mess with Dr. Disrespect? 
Or don't you? Do you think it's true? Everything that was going on? He does play around too much. He does take it too far. So it's hard to tell which way and which side to take. You know, especially these days with AI and clip farming and even just taking clips of people's messages just to make them look bad. It just sucks. It's a sucky situation if he is, if he's not guilty. You know what I'm saying? But if he's if he is guilty, he deserves what's coming from him. But like I always say, it's AV of the God. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. And today, we had Dr. Disrespect trying to explain himself. But I don't know if he did a very good job.